Difficult economic times have caused well-known British tea brands to complain about lost share to market-owned offerings due to lower prices. But a blind taste of storied blends, including PG Tips, Tetley, Twinings, and Yorkshire Tea, came up short when compared to Asada, Sainsbury's, and Waitrose. The tastings organized by which asked an expert panel of 79 experienced tea drinkers to sample 12 teas and assess aroma, appearance, mouthfeel, and aftertaste, which writes, quote, Big tea bag brands tend to have loyal followings, but our taste test reveals it's worth trying supermarket-owned brand options, as you might be pleasantly surprised by what you discover. Asada took the top spot, and it's half the price per cup of big brand options. End quote. Tasters awarded Asada's everyday tea bags a 72% on a scale of 100, noting the retail price of 52 pence per 100 grams or 2 pence per tea bag. Quote, Our tasters gave it high marks for aroma and appearance, and more than two thirds thought the color was just right. They also like the mouthfeel of this tea and its bitter tea twang. A majority thought the flavor was spot on, writes Witch. Sainsbury's red label tied Tetley and PG Tips for second place. Private label Aldi, Waitrose, and Co-op 99 blend fair trade tea tied with Yorkshire tea for third at 70%. Teas from Tesco and Twinings received the lowest scores at 67%. Euroweek News reported, quote, The competition was tight with just a 5% difference between the top and bottom scores, end quote. All the supermarket tees displayed either Fair Trade or Rainforest Alliance logos comparable with the bigger brands. The most expensive tee was Twinings every day at £4.80 pence per 80 bags. Yorkshire was priced at £3.30 per 80 bags, and Tetley and PG Tips sell for three pounds per 80 tea bags. The supermarket teas were priced from one to two pence per tea bag or one pound 25 for 80 bags. Business Insight. High food inflation has accelerated sales of private label offerings. Retailers are investing in food and beverage micro factories to lower costs and improve quality. In the U.S., the Food Marketing Institute an industry association, published Power of Private Brands 2023, a report that found more than 95% of consumers are buying private label products at least occasionally, and then a substantial 46% are purchasing store brand items most or all of the time. U.S.-based Bigelow Tea is constructing a 265,000-square-foot tea production, packaging, storage, and distribution facility near Louisville, Kentucky. During groundbreaking ceremonies, Cindy Bigelow, Chief Executive Officer and President of Bigelow Tea, praised Senior Director of Engineering John Bruins, quote, for his commitment to talking to almost every employee over the last two years to ensure that this facility is built to include everyone's needs, end quote. The $70 million facility is located on a 20-acre plot, which allows for future expansion of 75,000 square feet as needed, according to a bigger little press release. Local capacity will double to 2.2 billion tea bags annually, said Bigelow. The site work begins immediately with the main construction after the first of the year and completion in 2025. The Connecticut-based tea company operates three manufacturing facilities in the U.S. The new facility will include 25,000 square feet of planned office space and is located about a mile from the company's existing facility, which has been in operation for the past 30 years. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, has summoned a former Kenya Tea Development Agency official to provide documents related to a 2021 investigation into alleged mismanagement and possible embezzlement of 600 million Kenyan shellings. During a meeting inducting newly elected KTDA directors, 
President William Ruto said he would investigate a forensic audit report alleging misconduct during former President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration. Last week, Kenya's DCI Economic Crimes Unit summoned Dr. John Kennedy Omanga, a former company secretary at KDTA. DCI is seeking previously undisclosed documents dating to a 2021 investigation. Omanga was fired by KTTA in July 2021. Financial irregularities were documented in a confidential 130-page report compiled by forensic auditors from the Attorney General's Office, the National Intelligence Service, and the Asset Recovery Agency. The report was submitted to then-Attorney General Paul Kihara Kariuki on July 9, 2021. The report revealed a discrepancy in cash that should have been distributed to farmers based on sales at KTDA's 54 tea factories. KTDA engaged in money-losing real estate deals and paid outside lawyers $101 million for work that could have been done by in-house lawyers, according to the report. The audit report also revealed that a potential 3 billion Kenyan shillings remained in accounts at two commercial banks. No charges were brought in the case. Enos Nijo, the newly appointed KTDA chairman, told the nation he hopes to recover millions of shillings lost before he assumes office for a second term. Quote, As a board, we want farmers to get back their money. End quote, said Nigero. The nation reported that Amanga has denied any role in losing the cash. Quote, I was not in any way involved in any cash transactions while there. End quote, Omega told reporters. Produced by Audavita Studios. Connect your voice to the world.